All right, well, I'm sitting here. This is my third Hero 5 camera that I've gotten through this nightmare customer service uh, that GoPro has. And I've explained to them numerous times what a pile of crap this Hero 5 is. The door on it to get to the battery is insane to open up and close. Also, I keep losing uh, the sound on on the uh, playback. And along with that, the horrible microphones on the thing, it's just insane. So if there's horrible sound, it's because of the stupid Hero 5 camera, but I'm trying to use it uh, so GoPro doesn't think I'm lying to them. Anyhow, got another package in the mail. I wanna open it up real quick. I had so much fun doing that bike build that I got another type of bike kit. I want to show it to you guys. This is a, a friction drive kit that I got from, I believe it's from Stanton. Yeah, this is the friction drive kit. And looking at it, see, this mounts up to the four stroke uh, little uh, weed whacker motor. And that that's the drive gear that'll actually ride on the tire. And uh, you can see it's really, it's made out of some really nice aluminum, it says Stanton on the side. So, um, and it was a, it was like 104 bucks. Of course, it didn't come with the motor. You can buy kits with the motor. I didn't choose to get the kit with the motor. This got all the cables and all the goodies that come with it. Uh, it's got the throttle cable, and it also, I, I paid a little extra to get a kill switch. And here's the arms that go to it. And it's made out of really nice anodized, black anodized aluminum. It's just uh, well machined. So I definitely would recommend this. It's real heavy duty stuff, man. Uh, so far I'm real impressed. So now I'm just waiting on my motor that I bought. I bought kind of a, a knockoff Chinese motor. Uh, it's supposed to be a good motor though that they use. They use it on a lot of Troy built stuff. And it's supposed to be a fairly good quality motor. I picked it up for like a hundred bucks on eBay. So, so when I get that, we'll do a bike build on this thing. Should be pretty cool. You can also change the size of these rollers depending on the weight of the person riding it to give you a little more speed. The smaller the roller is going to give you more power. I got the engine that I'm going to use for the friction drive. And this thing is a Zongshan. It's a it's actually a Honda substitute. It it the the bolt pattern and the clutch size is all is is uh, identical to the Honda. Uh, it's kind of a direct replacement for a Honda. It's a Chinese engine, but it's supposed to be a high quality Chinese engine. Hopefully it works good. Now we just gotta find a bike to get this thing up and running. So we'll get this. Well, I made a run up to Utah. And while we're in Utah, I bought a bike for the motor conversion for the friction drive kit. And I got one at Walmart. Look at the price. Oh yeah. Bargain matinee, so that's like a seven-speed uh, beach cruiser. And look who I have here to help me tonight. Nothing but problems. Andrew, do you have anything to say to the camera? Nope. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. He's a little impatient because what's going on here is he's just um, he's kind of like my little servant, and so he gets a little impatient and he wants to get things hopping. And he doesn't think like an older man where they take their time and methodically think things out. No, he's always in a hurry to get things done. Am I right? Is that what you do? You think about things and take I'm very time. methodical. Very methodical. Anyhow, I went up to Utah to haul a car up there to my daughter up in college. And I thought, I'm going to go buy Walmart and see what I can do. So here's what we're going to do first. We're going to lose these stupid fenders because you get a little rock caught up under there. And it's done. You're going to be doing an endo. And so the back fender has to come off because we got to mount the, the friction drive. And I'm going to show you how it's done. We're going to get it done. And, you know, we're still going to do scooter stuff, but I just kind of got sidetracked on this bike stuff for a little bit. Do not allow the bike to fall over. The starter and or engine may be damaged. He's reading instructions. He's a little slow. I'm going to start pulling the fenders off this thing. What's it? All right, so we got Andrew. He's getting ready to take the fender off. And while he's doing that, I have the first bracket that's going on here. This bracket's going on. And I'm going to take some rubber from an old tire, cut it, tire off. and I'm going to put it 
on here so it doesn't scratch up the frame of the bike and plus it'll kind of limit some of the vibration from the motor. So. This is harder than actually putting the motor on itself. The, the friction drive assembly is going to be easier than this whole nightmare. So you might want to think about getting a bike without fender. See this? This is going in the garbage. Okay. So now we're going to put the wheel back on before I kill Andrew. Right? All right. We got the stupid fender off. And now putting the brake back on. And then we're going to put the bracket on that holds the friction drive. So this friction drive bracket's going to go right here under the seat. All right, so we don't have this tight yet, but we do have the arms on now. And they go through the existing holes that are on the frame. So kind of look for that when you're going to get a bike. You want to make sure there's a couple of these holes there that you can put that through. And this comes awful close to the... A set back there so you just have to be careful so the next step is we're gonna put the drive unit on we're gonna adjust this and get this tightened down then we're gonna put the drive unit on all right so Andrew's going to get the motor but I'll show you what we've got done so far we got this bolted on right now this is where the motors gonna mount you can see how the friction drive work is on these shafts here I don't know if we have enough light for you to see under here but there's the friction drive right there and when you're ready to put friction to the tire you lower it down and clamp it and then you have drive from the motor the motor is a centrifugal clutch motor so as you accelerate the motor will uh, the clutch will open up and and provide you power and motor you right along so our next step is to mount the motor and that's what we're going to do right now. And then we're going to go ahead and put the accelerator cable on and the kill switch. All right, well, we got the motor on now. You can see how that's mounted on there. That's mounted with four bolts. Now we're running the throttle cable up to the top here. We got it loosely on here, but we got to find a good spot. It's kind of tight up here, so we're going to probably try and put it right in there close to the brake lever. It's going to be kind of tricky, but we're going to get that on. And then we just have to run the kill switch. And that's the extent of it. But uh, looks really good. The motor kind of matches the bike because it's red. You can see it's a four-stroke Zong Shen. And I got it off of eBay for like 100 bucks, 125 bucks, something like that. So anyhow, overall, this whole bike build was about, I'd say like 300 bucks, maybe 350. And uh, we'll see how it runs. All right, we're done with the build. We got this thing all together, and I'm going to give it a thumbs up. It started out kind of slow because I think the motor needed to be broken. Uh, they say on these Chinese engines, the clutch, the centrifugal clutch is kind of uneven, so it takes a minute to wear in, so it's not slipping as much now, and it seems to have a little better pickup. I use the one-inch roller on this thing, which gives it a little more power for fat guys like me. So I'm going to lift this up, the friction drive up off the bike. And you can see that roller down there. This is the roller. It's a centrifugal clutch. And that's how she runs. But it's, it's a great little project. A lot more practical than the last bike we built. Isn't it, Andrew? Yes, sir. Very smooth running. Does about 20 miles an hour. So if you want something to cruise around, it's great for kids at college. I'm going to build one for my daughter, send it up to her at col to college. In fact, she's going to get this motor. That's why the wires are still hanging because I'm going to, this is actually the kill switch. This is the throttle right here. And then the kill switch is supposed to run down to this, but I, I left it hanging because I'm going to pull this motor off and put a Subaru motor on that. So anyhow, I'll fire this up for you, let you see how it works. I'm giving props to Demolition Ranch too. Look at that. He's even got one of their shirts. He doesn't ever wear my shirt, do you? Do you? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm a little hurt. It's too nice. I don't want to mess it up. Yeah, is that what it is, really? Yeah. Drop it down like that. Even a fat old guy like me can ride it. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, and just remember, I'm just a man in a cave causing mayhem. Thanks.